In this video, we're going to talk about gift and estate taxes, everything you need to know for 2023. Hi, I'm estate planning attorney Richard Barrett with Smith Barrett LLC and one half of the estate planning guys. So gift taxes and estate taxes, we get questions about this all the time. In fact, a lot of people who come to see us for estate planning, the first thing on their mind is, I don't want to pay any more than I have to for estate taxes. So there's some good news I'll share with you in just a little bit about estate taxes and how they might or might not affect you and your family. But why don't we start with something most people are familiar with, and that's gift taxes, and especially the gift tax exclusion or exemption for 2023. It goes up approximately $1,000 or exactly $1,000 every year or a couple of years typically and for 2023 the amount is seventeen thousand dollars per person that you can gift without having to file a gift tax return and so what that means is if you're a married couple you could give thirty four thousand dollars to each of your kids and each of your grandkids if you wanted to without having any impact on your overall estate tax exclusion or gift tax exclusion and without having to file a form 709 gift tax return so to give you a little context you know you there are people who have estates that are large enough they're worried about getting some of that money out of their estate before they pass away to avoid estate taxes. Right now, with the estate tax exclusion being so high, it's not a big deal, not really uh, important to think about for most estates, but for some it is. And one of the things you can do is gift. So the way the math works, there's $34,000 that a married couple could give to any person. So you could give $17,000 to your daughter and your wife could give $17,000 to your daughter each year. So that's $34,000. And by way of example, if you had, if you were part of a married couple and you had two kids and eight grandkids, you could gift $34,000 a piece to each of them for $340,000 per year before you run into even having to file a Form 709 gift tax return. Now, what about that return? Does that mean you're gonna have to pay taxes on the gifts that you've made? The answer is usually no. What, they, what the government uses the Form 709 for is to keep track of how much you have gifted in excess of that $17,000 per year per person exclusion. Because whatever you gift in excess of that exclusion, it whittles away at your overall gift tax exemption which right now is quite high, but that gift tax return, just because you filed it, it's a way for the government to keep track of what you've gifted. It does not mean that you're going to owe taxes. Most people won't. Most people never will. And the reason I say that is right now, the gift tax exclusion and estate tax exclusion is $12.92 million per person or almost $26 million for a married couple. So you can see that it's a good problem to have to owe a state tax, even at a 40 or 45% rate, but it's not something most people need to worry about. So if instead of gifting the $34,000 per person that a married couple could give, you could gift in excess of that. If you had a, a reason to want to get more than that out of your name, or maybe you just want to help. Maybe you've got a son or daughter who's starting a business and $34,000 won't quite cover their needs for the year. You could gift them $100,000 and you would still only have to report the amount that's over the $34,000 $34, that both of you can gift together to each individual person. Now let's talk for a minute about estate taxes. The estate tax, and the, at one point in time they called this the uniform credit, the, the uh, gift tax exclusion and the estate tax exclusion is $12.92 million per person or almost $26 million as we said a few minutes ago for a married couple. So unless you're going to gift during your lifetime more than that amount, you don't have a gift tax problem. And and if, like most people, you don't come anywhere close to reaching that, you have almost $13 million per person that you can gift or give away through your estate after you pass away without any estate tax. You do want to keep a careful eye on that if you think you're getting close because estate taxes are still draconian. By that, I mean they might be 40 to 45 percent, depending on how much we're talking about in terms of what you've left to the generation coming along behind. So it's worth, if you're a very wealthy person, it's, it's worth taking a look at and keeping track of. But for most people, you can put your head on the pillow at night and know that you'll probably never have an estate tax problem. It is important to know, and you've probably heard that the provisions of the estate tax code changes that made the exclusion amount what it is today, they sunset in 2026 or at the end of 2025. So in 2026, the uh, exclusion amount goes down to $5 million, but it then is adjusted for inflation. So the total is going to be about $7 million per person. So remember, if you're a married couple, we're still talking about $14 million that you can gift away during your lifetime or some combination of gift away during your lifetime 
lifetime and give away through your estate before there's any estate tax issue. I hope this information makes you sleep better at night. And if you'd like to find out how we can help your family, click the button down below to set a discovery call with our team and we'll help you find out what we can do to help you. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, then take a moment right now to subscribe by clicking below and turn on the bell notification so you get notified every time we post up a new video. Right now we're posting three videos a week with lots of information about various estate planning topics. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure to stay on top of that. Click below to subscribe and click right over here to watch the next most relevant video about estate planning. Go watch it now.